Are we going to see another exciting race just like the last two? It is everything set and ready to go for this one. The 32nd board is up. I can tell you there'll be some tension down the line right now, Lee Hogan. Well, we've got two riders tied at the top of the tree and it is up for grabs. Who wants it more? Is it Matt Moss? Is it Kyle Cunningham? Four second board sideways and they're off. What a jump out again. It looks like Stike with a great one, but Cunningham as well. Where is Moss? He's buried deep in the pack. If Cunningham can get out there and get a good run this first it's lap, it's a good from chance. Ryan Marmont and then back to Luke Cunningham and Stike sends a tough block flying. There is bopping back there in about fifth place. We're still looking over the triple right at the now back Moss there. Moss is, is around about eighth or ninth place. We just saw that very distinctive red plate on the Suzuki machine. He's got a lot of uh, ground to try to make up, but he needs to thread the needle through the pack. A lot of riders and anything can happen. Up the head of the pack, of course, another sensational start from Luke Stock. Yeah, in the first sighting of Kirk Gibbs too, so he's about to have a better run as well. There is Cunningham in fourth place. Remember, this is where it's at for the win between Cunningham and Moss as they go down the Star Straight into turn number one. It is still Stike on the Yamaha holding on. Now while we've got Stike at the head of the pack, there is three riders that separate Kyle Cunningham from Matt Moss. Moss, he knows the overall is up for grabs and that is all that matters for him. He wants to keep his unbeaten streak alive. He does and oh a big mistake right there by Cunningham. Allows Bopping to go by. Bopping squaring it back up into the whips and there is Moss right behind him. This is going to go down down to the wire. We are at lap three or five, only a couple to go between these guys. There is Bobbing going into the sand, cutting him up the inside. The pass. As we sit at the moment, Moss will... Oh! oh down goes Kirk Gibbs! Wow, down goes Kirk Gibbs. It's all action right now. Cunningham sits in behind Moss, but I don't think Moss has finished yet. Four or five. Moss wants to make another one and settle this and set it in concrete. The victory will be his if he can get another couple more places. Matt Moss is out to make amends from that third race after going down lap four or five, and he is sitting very pretty to take the terrific victory here at Parramatta. There is up the inside again, that line working so well for Moss, but just not quite enough speed. Onto the whoop, sits behind Marmon. One lap to go. Have a look in the background. There is Cunningham. He knows there's only one lap to go. And Into the sand. Another pass made by Matt Moss in that sand section. He is awesome through there. Kyle Cunningham almost comes together with Ryan Marmon. Yamaha's right next to each other. Oh, oh the front wheel of, it out. of Ryan Marmont. Wow, it's desperate times right now. We've completely forgotten about our leader. Luke Stike is just running away with this one. Second place. Well, that was Marmont just moments ago. But now you can see the yellow bike just just in behind them. What a ride by Stike. It's going to be overshadowed though by the guy behind him. There he is as they come towards the finish line. A bad run through the whips, but a great win for Stike. And there is Moss. He is absolutely stoked by that win. And Mossy had to fight for that victory. And what a fighter he is. That is the trait of a true champion. Luke Stike. Wow, he has, uh, he has just been welcomed to the show.
section. We just saying Luke Stike won the under-19s in the Outdoor Nationals. Come through, he was injured in the first half of the series for Super X. Comes out with a victory here in the final, mate. Yeah, it wasn't the prettiest run through the whips that last time, but what a win it was. He was absolutely beside himself and truly deserving. He's really been showing some great form over these last couple of rounds. Yes, he has. Let's have a look at the round points. Matt Moss with 69, one point ahead of Circo Yamaha rider Kyle Cunningham. Brendan Harrison comes up with a podium as podium. well with six points. Uh, 60 nope. points. Well done, Brendan Harrison. Podium. Luke Stike in there in fourth. Yeah, great podium for the Titan Garage's North Star Yamaha rider. Lawson Bopping back in fifth place, but not where we expect to see him, and I think where we will see him in the future. Adam Monier back there in ninth. Menchie Anderson and Taylor Potter in 12th place. Cameron Solomon there in 13th. Mozig, Cade Mozig in 14th, equal with Brody Harden. 16th, Luke Harbon, another rider we expect to see up a lot higher. Yeah, absolutely. These are the stars of the future, no doubt about it. And they're already showing a lot of speed in this class. Right, as we have a look at the crowd here at Parramatta and what a crowd it has been, Danny Ham. And they are being treated that last time around. Luke Arbon, Josh Spanos, Brody Harden and Mitch Austin rounding out the top 20. And we are